sure you have. Sunday morning, all northbound lanes of the Skyway Bridge will shut down for a run across the bridge that will raise money for military families in this area. 7,000 runners, if they sold out really quick, <laughs> yeah, signed up to compete for this. Yep, and Fox 13's Dan Maddox takes a look at the logistics and the excitement. Four days away, and Teresa Bunnell could not be more ready. She's a long distance runner and will be competing in the Skyway 10K race. There is a bridge incline, so it is going to slow a lot of fast runners down. Sunday morning, the northbound side of the Skyway will be closed from 4 a.m. until 10 a.m. 7,000 runners will be bussed from Tropicana Field to the south side of the bridge. They're going to do the run across, and then they'll be bussed back to the TROP for an awards ceremony. If you are driving Sunday morning, needless to say, avoid the Skyway. Guys, this is this is a really good cause for military families. We hope you can understand and bear with us. It's from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, we really hope that it's not going to affect too many people. This is the first race across the Skyway since it reopened after collapsing in the 80s. People from all over the world are doing this because it's so unique and it also raises more than a half a million dollars for the Armed Forces Families Foundation. It's incredible. It's ranked the number three bridge in the world. All 7,000 tickets to run sold out four days after they were made available online. The excitement is translating into cash for this runner's store Teresa operates. It has helped Outfit to run tremendously from the group run to also clientele coming in to prepare for the event. A race where the impact seems to only be on the incline. Runners come in who are excited to run this race and the enthusiasm. In St. Petersburg, Dan Maddox, Fox 13 News. That's going to be quite the climb, isn't it? Again, it's 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. this Sunday. All northbound lanes of I-275 are going to be shut down right before the Skyway. Nothing changes for the southbound. That stays the same. But if you know anybody who uses that bridge, pass that information along.